welcome to our Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. If you could please rise this time as we have our senior members of Chamber Singers leading us in the National Anthem. Can we get a big round of applause again for our chamber singers, Mr. Carney and Mrs. Martin? That was awesome. I'd now like to welcome up our Executive Student Council President, Ms. Caitlin Faust. teachers, administrators, students, family, friends, and of course, the men and women of the hour, soon to be graduates. My name is Caitlin Paust and I am your Student Council Executive President. It is with great pride and anticipation that I welcome you to the High Point Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. In a few moments, well, a few long moments, we'll throw our caps into the air and that will seemingly be it. Some of us may laugh, cry, scream, that one will probably be me. And some of us will be thanking the Lord it's finally over and they'll never have to deal with the senior parking lot traffic. That one will also probably be me. Some of us may look back on the last four years and recall it as the best time in their lives thus far. Some of us, to put it in better words, think differently. But I want you to remember why you're here and who helped you get here. Be proud of what you're about to accomplish. We each share our own unique experiences and have traveled diverse paths to the place we all are here today. Despite our differences, we're here and we're each saying goodbye to a piece of our lives. And with that, everyone, this is it. Take a deep breath, look at those around you, and realize that this is real. This is a moment we'll never experience again. Though this marks a turning point in our lives, each end is a new beginning. So if you take one thing from me, let it be this. Success begins when failure is imminent. Take what you know and use it to push yourself. It is never too late to become someone you want to be. So push boundaries, get uncomfortable, and never let a mistake define you. I wish you each the best of luck on your future endeavors. And I hope that wherever you find yourselves, you're happy with how far you've come. But most importantly, I hope that you remember, it's Friday, baby. Congratulations, class of 2023.
Always love that. It's Friday, baby. Next, we have our uh, senior class president, Miga Safi. Mia. Good evening, everyone. I would like to start out by thanking you all for being here to support our class and all of our many remarkable achievements. My name is Mia Grisafi, and I've had the absolute honor and pleasure of being the senior class president this past year. <laughs> One quality that I think we all share as a collective class is our resilience and our courage. I think it's safe to assume that these past four years have been nothing but unpredictable. Needless to say, we've heard enough about that for a lifetime. And at this point, I don't feel as though I need to harp on how our high school years were cut short and substituted with the global pandemic. Instead, I want to focus on all that we did get to accomplish and achieve. For example, our wrestling, this year, our wrestling team this year won state championships for the second time in over four years. We, <laughs> yeah. Um, they're incredible. Um, we've also had over 10 dances and formals, seemingly doubled the amount of murals and painted ceiling tiles around the school. Our debate team took home league champions this February. Our student body has successfully coordinated many themes um, for numerous sporting events. And even, um, <laughs> and on top of all that, we survived virtual Wednesdays. But um, our class started a new tradition this early August um, by painting our parking spaces in the senior parking lot and having a unique representation of ourselves. But most importantly, the endless bickering between the new drivers and the seniors have about the parking in the same spot since they have freshman year has seemingly ceased. I think that even though we may not have gotten to spend a lot of time together as a whole class these four years, just this past year alone, we've been able to come together in a sense and have lasting memories to carry us through our next beginning. From senior formal, passing in the hallways, giggling in class, cheering at intense sporting events, standing ovations at our many theatrical performances, or dancing at the dinner cruise, these moments that we have shared together, I will continue to remember and hold close to me. We will never have another experience like this past year and the next four to come. All of the bittersweet emotions as you're excited for what's ahead, but also nervous to close such a familiar chapter. As you look around and realize that you've gone to school with most of these people for your entire lives, and at your next school, you will probably never have another connection like this. Grieve what you will lose, but don't forget to savor the now and look ahead at what's to come. I want to thank you all for making this year a year I will never forget, and congratulations to the class of 2023. We did it. Great job, Mia. Thank you. I want to give a shout out to our concert choir um, for outside because of the weather concert choir will be singing for us. So give it a shout out for our concert choir. It is awesome. They're awesome. Our next student address is by our salutatorian, Gushi Suri. Gushi. Before I get into what I would actually like to say, Mr. Klimas wanted to tell everybody that he is the best teacher ever. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and my fellow graduates. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this milestone with us. I'm incredibly grateful to have this opportunity to speak in front of you all today. As we reflect on our high school journey, it's clear that these past four years have been filled with achievements, cherished memories, and invaluable friendships. Throughout these past four years, I have seen our passions flourish, whether through art, media technology, athletics, music, or academics, and I'm excited to see where our passions take us. I have seen the joy High, High, sorry, High Point has provided so many of us, and I'm forever grateful for the memories I can look back and smile at. While our time at High Point was filled with many positive memories and experiences, I'd also like to acknowledge that high school came with many adversities. For some of us, high school may have not been the best time of our lives. I sure wouldn't call it that. We all have different paths, obstacles, and struggles, and that is part of what makes us unique. But our challenges do not define our worth or limit our potential. We are defined by our resilience, character, and impact on those around us. We have the power to change and shape our story. It is never too late. In the wise words of poet and philanthropist Pitbull, for anybody going through tough times, believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. High school, with all its ups and downs, is merely the beginning of our lives. 
It provided us with a foundation, a stepping stone, toward our aspirations. As we leave the familiar hallways and classrooms behind, let us remember that the past does not define us, but it does help us grow. We have the opportunity to take the future into our hands and make what we'd like of it. The future holds both uncertainty and promise, but let us not fear it. Instead, let us embrace it with open hearts and open minds. We have the power to make a difference, not only in our lives, but also in those around us. We have the opportunity to build a world that is more compassionate, more inclusive, and more just. Let us always remember the importance of empathy, standing up for what is right, and for treating every individual with respect and kindness. I hope everyone can reflect on High Point and remember it not for the grades we received or other people's opinions of us, but rather as a chapter of our lives that helped us bloom. I hope we all remember it for the ways it brought us happiness and for all the ways it shaped us as people. Moving forward, I hope we all care for the world and those around us, but more importantly, we care for ourselves. Remember to be proud of yourself, show yourself grace, and be accepting of yourself and others, no matter where life takes you. Use the future to learn more about yourself and to explore what makes you, you. And make sure to live in the moment and have some fun along the way. Our future is in our hands, and I have no doubt that we will make it extraordinary. For the upcoming chapters of our lives, I think Pitbull says it best. We have one destiny, one life, live it up. Congratulations, class of 2023. Good job, Cushy. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, we would have the concert band, so I want to give a shout out for our concert band. Can you give a big shout out for our concert band? So proud of them, what they do for their performance. And now we're going to have our valedictorian, Rachel Dempster. Rachel? Good evening. I am honored to be standing here tonight to proudly represent the High Point class of 2023. I can hardly believe we will be graduating in mere minutes. High school came and went quicker than I could imagine. People really don't lie when they say that these years go by quickly. I still remember how on the first day of senior year, all the way back in September, Mr. Talame sat us down in the auditorium and told us that this day would be here before we know it. I should have taken his words more seriously because now we're here and I don't know where all the time went, but I know it was time spent wisely. To begin, I would like to express how proud I am of each and every student beside me tonight. I don't know if you've noticed, but high school is not what it used to be back in the good old days when Madonna was big and the hair was bigger. <laughs> school has become much more intense and stressful since then, but our class has proven time and time again that we can rise to a challenge, and this wonderful ceremony is what we have to show for it. This graduation marks the climax of our high school accomplishments and opens up the future for many more. Additionally, we have triumphantly faced many unique problems brought on by the pandemic. You may think that's ancient history by now, but it was genuinely a trying time for our education system that attests to the strength of our student body and faculty. We have been through so much together on and off the screens, and I am so thankful for how hard each member of the faculty and each of my peers have worked to allow us to be standing here today. I stand before you all with the utmost respect and regard for your outstanding efforts and perseverance over the past four years. You should all be very proud of yourselves. Now, I wish to make a cliche statement that I'm sure you've heard a million times before, but I hope you take the time to consider it seriously. There's no time like the present. Hear me out. Every single instant in history has occurred in the present. Every word written, word spoken, and every beginning and end are brought to life in a single blip of time before they are forever cemented in the past while the present keeps stretching forward. Similarly, each moment of our futures will meet us in the present. On my sixth birthday, I sat on the bus alone and as my, driver, as my bus driver pulled into the Frankfurt School parking lot, I remember thinking to myself, wow, I'm already six. Before I know it, I'll be 16. And boy, was I right. 16 came and went in a flash, and for a brief moment in the infinite expanse of time, I came face to face with a future I had so desperately been anticipating for 10 years. When all was said and done, my 16th birthday was nothing special, just another birthday like any other. I memorialized that day in my mind as the beginning of a new relationship with time. 
I've come to realize life is more fulfilling when you live in the present rather than in anticipation of the future. I encourage you all to take hold of your present, your story. Treat each fleeting second as a real present, a gift. Handle them with care and appreciate them all, even if you don't particularly like them, because one day this life will no longer bestow upon you this precious gift. Unlike real presents, ours are non-refundable, non-regiftable. You will own yours now and forevermore. Each passing minute of your present defines your past and refines your story while simultaneously constructing the foundation of your future. The here and now is the most valuable gift you will ever receive. Take it with careful hands and put it to good use. Time, how simple it is and yet how extraordinarily it shapes us all. Do not waste it. We've reached the most difficult part of the speech. It's time to say goodbye. To me, there is nothing more painful than saying goodbye. Goodbye to the high school. Goodbye to the teachers that have so admirably impacted all of our lives. Goodbye to the people and communities that made us feel greater than ourselves. And for many of us, we're heading off to college in the fall, and that means saying goodbye to friends and family, to the people that have stuck with us through thick and thin, and to those who know us better than we know ourselves. To everyone in the audience here tonight to express their love and support for my fellow students and I, thank you. We will forever be grateful for all you have done for us. And to the students, I want to say that even though it is so hard to say goodbye, we must remember that we are also saying hello to the beginning of the rest of our lives, to new dreams, new friends, and new experiences. We are saying hello to the start of 200 beautifully unique stories that I am so grateful to have been a part of here tonight. Four years ago, I spoke as the valedictorian of the Frankfurt Township Middle School graduating class of 2019. In my previous speech, I left my audience with this statement. Across the span of each of our lifetimes, we will go in separate directions, each of us down a new, new unique path, but when your light grows dim and you enter the final chapter of your life, do not disregard the place where you first ignited the flame in your soul and where you learn to nurture it and transform it into a passionate blaze. Hold on to your roots and let your light burn forever bright. Tonight, I would like to rightfully extend upon my juvenile thinking by explaining that I am well aware that many of you cannot wait to leave here tonight, get out of Sussex County, and begin the rest of your lives. But I hope you will take a moment to sincerely consider the men, many fond memories we have made here together with friends, family, and staff over the past four years. And I hope we can all take the time to enjoy the ceremony and soak in this one last memory together before we go our separate ways. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. Wherever life takes you, I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Congratulations again. Next, we have um, a, our concert choir, our senior members of the concert choir, singing a musical selection for us. Mr. Cardi.
Now we're going to sing our high point alma mater, praising high point, so we'd like to ask everybody to please stand. Great job, thank you. We'd now like to welcome up our Board of Education President, Mr. Wayne Dunn. Mr. Dunn. Thank you, Mr. Powell. Is the night flying by or what? I'm going to do my best to keep pace here. Hello and good evening. I'd first like to extend a warm welcome to all the parents, family, and friends of our distinguished graduates. A very gracious welcome to High Point's dedicated faculty and staff, to whom we're all indebted. Welcome to our administrators, Superintendent Ripley, and also my fellow board members with me tonight. And of course, the very fond welcome to our honored graduates of the High Point Regional Class of 2023. I'm Wayne Dunn, and I'm absolutely humbled to have this opportunity to address our graduates this evening. 
It's unfortunate that the weather forced us inside and that many of your family and friends uh, are only able to witness tonight's event via our live stream platform. We truly wished everyone could have been here in person. Uh, I did notice one small benefit that we don't have to wear sunglasses tonight because there's no sun staring at us. But anyway, um, so tonight I've, I've got two brief themes to talk about. Um, just two. The first one, transition. Graduation from high school is likely to be one of the most momentous periods of transition that you'll all experience in your lifetime. Every one of you have spent the majority of the last four years generally following, generally, a daily routine centered around school, extracurriculars, maybe a part-time job, homework, and hopefully a little bit of time with your family and friends squeezed in there too. During that time, you've benefited immensely from the guidance and support of your parents and other role models. You've closely followed the instructions of teachers, coaches, and other mentors, or at least I hope you have, and grown as individuals through their knowledge and wisdom that they've imparted upon you. You've shared your daily experiences with close friends, and maybe siblings or other trusted family, and they in turn have provided you with reassurance and validation. Yes, of course, we all acknowledge that there was this moment in time a few years ago when things weren't quite so routine, um, but quite, quite thankfully, that is properly kept in the rear view mirror as much as possible. But anyway, Regardless of what your individual routine may have been before now, much of that changes as of today. After a brief summer, many of you are going to go off to college. Whether you're attending hours away or commuting from home, you're probably still going to be more on your own and self-sufficient than you've ever been in your entire life thus far. Those of you who might be going directly into a trade or profession will still be asked to continue learning new things for quite some time yet. That's otherwise known as on-the-job training. But you'll now be expected to be more self-motivated and personally responsible than you likely were those past, these past four years. And to those of you who've chosen to enter military service, all I can say is your transition to your new normal will be abrupt and radical, but the rest of us thank you for it. Even if you're among those who don't know yet what you want to do, and that's okay, your daily routine also changes forever after today. So that brings me to my next theme, adaptation. The world into which you are about to embark has fast become something that would have been practically unimaginable to your parents and grandparents when they marched to pomp and circumstance in their own commencements and collected their diplomas. At least I hope they did. The internet, cell phones, social media, and artificial intelligence are just a few examples of the pervasive technologies inconceivable to them that have completely transformed our society in the manner and speed in which we now obtain and consume information. Most of you don't recall a time before they existed. They are absolutely, absolutely integral to your lives now, and you wield them skillfully and with confidence. That's good because those technologies, along with others that may or may not have even existed yet, will need to be sensibly and diligently applied to an increasingly interconnected world wrestling with some very serious problems. Problems like the aftermath of a global pandemic, increasingly noticeable changes, uh, effects of climate change, extreme partisan politics, and growing wealth, wealth disparity. I don't know about you all, but it makes my head spin trying to grasp the complexity of all of that that is out there before you on the sea that you will soon need to navigate. One would easily forgive you for feeling a little overwhelmed by all that this sudden and massive change is thrust upon your lives. So what to do? 
how how do you move forward? How should you approach that? I, I don't believe there's one simple answer. I know I don't have it. And even if I did claim to, I'll let you in on a secret. You should always question any advice given to you by aging men with a receding hairline and an AARP membership card, okay? They likely have something to sell you. Even if they're sincere, their unique recipe for success might not work for you. And for the record, I haven't gotten my card yet. That, that caveat aside, I would, however, offer up a quote from a distinguished gentleman that you may have heard before, a scientist by the name of Charles Darwin. I call him Chuck. Chuck once said, it's not the strongest of the species who survive, nor the most intelligent. It's the one most adaptable to change. So what does that all mean? Okay. You have all amassed many of the tools in your tool belt to go forward from this place into an uncertain future. I am confident that the High Point Wildcat logo is prominently yet figuratively etched on many of those tools. Some likely even have a particular teacher or coach's initials carved upon them as well. Tools with names like determination, passion, perseverance, kindness, curiosity, empathy, and truth to oneself all come to mind among numerous others. Apply them to whatever new situations or environments you find yourself in. If one tool doesn't work, try a different one. If on occasion you discover you need a new tool, find a way to obtain it or earn it. Exercise their use frequently and build muscle memory. If you utilize them to tackle small problems on a consistent basis, you will find that big problems are addressed in much the same way by breaking them down into smaller parts and taking them on one at a time. That's it, really. That's my message. Transition and adaptation. I don't need to unnecessarily extend a speech to tell you things that I know you already have in your heart. My last simple ask is that you don't leave here tonight without taking a minute to thank that one special teacher, coach, or counselor that made a difference in your time here at High Point. It could mean more to them than you realize, and you'll be glad you did that too. So with that, on behalf of the High Point Regional High School Board of Education, I offer our sincere congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. Just wanted to add that our graduates are doing a fantastic job. We're getting there. Almost there. Good evening. Welcome to the class of 2023 graduation. Special thank you to members of our Board of Education, Dr. Ripley, fellow administrators, faculty members, honored guests, and most importantly, the class of 2023, our family, and our friends. As a culminating activity, graduation truly is a team effort. This beautiful ceremony would not be possible without my administrative assistant, Mrs. Brummel, Davy's support of Mr. Perry, Mr. Yardley, and Mr. Fenlon, and the support of the custodial grounds and maintenance staff. A few hours ago, this place looked a little bit different as we were scrambling around, so I want to give a big round of applause for all of them. We wouldn't be here. Congratulations to our parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and all our family members that are here today or watching on live stream. Wow, here we are to celebrate you, the class of 2023. Can we get a shout out to our parents one time? Shout out to the parents. Come on. They're the reason you're here. Congratulations to our retiring staff. You saw some of our retiring staff lead our class in this evening. Mrs. Abgar, Mr. Batista, Mr. Fenlin, Mrs. Fenlin, Mr. Langan, Mrs. Lembo, Mrs. Latrenta, Mr. M Miller, Mrs. Wentlachewski, and Mrs. White. We wish you the, yeah, a big round of applause. Come on now. It's a lot of years of education, staff, 
um, in that aspect of it too. We wish you the best of luck in your next chapter. We're going to miss you, but we thank you for your years of dedication to our High Point family. To our staff that you saw come in before as they, as they brought up the, uh, the end of the, the entourage, congratulations to you for another successful year. You have played such an important role in the lives of all of our students, not just our seniors. But through it all, you showed them heart, kindness, compassion, and dedication every day. And I'm honored to walk alongside you each day. So thank you to our staff. <laughs> Class of 2023, it is difficult to find just the right words to use when offering a graduation speech. I've contemplated the staff for many hours and days concerning the message I wanted to share with you this evening. I would like to begin with a quote by Giannis Antetokounmpo after losing in the NBA playoffs. Some of you may have heard this. There's no failure in sports. There's good days, bad days. Some days you're able to be successful. Some days you are not. Some days it's your turn. Some days it's not. That's what sports is about. You don't always win. I would argue that this applies to life, not just sports. We don't always win in life. But Giannis was saying it's not always about the win. We will all have successful days. You've had many of them already. Some days that we want to start over, we've had a couple of those. And some days we just don't even get out of bed. Class of 2023, this applies to each and every one of us. But that is not failure. That is learning. And trying to have more successful days than not in the future. Drake once said, never let, never let success get to your head and never let failure get to your heart. And that success is built on three foundational blocks of character, integrity, and courage. You will have the opportunity to test these foundational blocks throughout your life. I sat in these very same seats as you did a few years ago. Probably one of the same exact thing you are right now. When the heck are they going to be done talking so I can get my diplomas? We're almost there. We're almost there. I realize that often our greatest strengths are defined when we are at our weakest. You see, I thought character, integrity, and courage were just good traits to have. I never realized that they were necessities. Wherever your past lead from these seats, remember this. Character is defined when your back is to the wall and when life is most challenging. Define who you are. Do the right thing because it is right, even though others may not be. Have the courage to make the right decisions in life. The hardest ones are usually the most rewarding. My Angelo once said, courage is the most important of all virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. Over your high school career, you have heard me, other staff members, and your parents say we are proud of you. But what is most important to ask, are you proud of yourself? Jesse Owens, great Olympian, once said the battles that count aren't the ones for gold medals. I believe he's a four or five time gold medalist. The struggles within yourself, the invisible, inevitable battles inside all of us, that's where it's at. Throughout this year, you have shown us all what lies each inside of all of you. And for that, you should all stand and stand proud. We have seen the class of 2023 grow so much over the past year. We have seen you lean on each other, laugh with each other, and even cry with each other. I leave with this quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. What you do speaks so loudly that I cannot hear what you say. Never underestimate the impact that you can have by just being there for somebody or sharing a smile. Class of 2023, I love you, so proud of you, and may God bless you. a lot of allergies in here, just so you know. Nice to welcome uh, our, doc our superintendent, Dr. Ripley, to the stage. I'll be brief. I'm hopeful that you're uh, appreciating the beautiful facilities that are yours and that we seek to make this the hub of the community and that you are welcome because it is yours. And we're hopeful that you feel that welcome. Thank you for this facility and thank you for being here this evening. Congratulations graduates. May your lives be a blessing to others 
and may you also be blessed. In spite of the challenges through which you have come these past four years, in spite of the speed with which you have experienced global climactic, economic, societal, and ethical changes, it is my hope that you leave High Point with a strong moral compass of dignity, compassion, humility, and grace. What society frequently refers to as soft skills, like character, integrity, and perseverance, are indeed the skills that will define your future far more than talent or intellect. The Russian dissident Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who endured decades of captivity in the Soviet gulag, said, the meaning of earthly existence lies not, as we have grown used to thinking, in prospering, but in the development of the soul. He also said, intolerance is the first sign of an inadequate education. An ill-educated person behaves with arrogance, whereas truly profound education breeds humility. And so it is my sincere hope that each of you have observed and also acquired throughout your time at High Point the soft skills upon which a successful and noble life is built. Graduates, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. There is no greater joy than to know that one's children walk in truth. I pray not only that you seek truth, but the one that is truth. That you seek not only peace, but one that is peace. That you not only seek love, but one that is love. That you seek not only humility, but one that is humility. That you transcend the petty and the small, so as to ascertain that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. May you walk in that light always. Now go and live a life of purpose. It will make all the difference. At this time, we're going to begin the presentation of diplomas. All right, so we're going to be we ask that you make sure that we uh, get a chance to hear all the graduates' names. They've worked hard to hear the names, so we want to make sure that we get that. So we'll have Mrs. Imperial come up for the beginning presentation of diplomas. Rachel Lynn Damstra. Cushy Surrey. Danielle Alexis Alves. Dearlise Marie Arancibia. Soraya Janais Arguez. Emma G. Babcock. Madison N. Bailey. Albert B. Barberi. Brandon M. Bassani. Tyler P. Bauer. Mattingly Elise Bauman. Blake D. Bayer. Logan M. Banner. Leah Elizabeth Berrios. Hannah B. Berry. Nathaniel Tyleek Bass. Tyler F. Baffa. Sean Bowes, Nicole C. Marino, Madison M. Boynton, Kristen E. Brady, Jenna P. Brink, 
James Richard Bruning. Kate Elizabeth Buckwald. Kyle M. Burke. Chelsea M. Burst. Mia Grisafi, Caitlin Rose Paust, Eleanor A. Cabrera, Vanessa C. Casado, Zaire Callender, Devin Lee Campbell, Lorelai Cameron Castellani, Emily Rose Castle, Jenna M. Champion, Jeremiah Chang, Michaela Rose Shirello, Marlene N. Samaglia, Roman S. Citro, Nathaniel B. Clayton, Clayton John. Cole, Giovanni A. Cologne, Caden D. Conover, Ian Connery, Jason S. Cordero, Destiny Rose Covert, Logan Coven, Jordan Ashley Crozier, Aileen Crystal Cruz, Hunter Joseph DiCarlo, Paige M. Decker, Samuel Richard Decker, Brady Delmont Beltry, Devin Dembowski, Aiden Jesse Diaz, Mia L. Diaz, Sarah Diaz, Zachary Ian Diaz, Emil Donatello the Fourth. Kylie Gabrielle Donofrio, Avery Bryn Dunn, Kaya Morgan Lee Ebicke, Ian Fitzpatrick Fagan, Grace Marie Farinella, Marcelo A. Figarelli, Ethan Michael Finnamore, Andrew Flores, Stefan Foltz, Matthew Corey Frieda, Victoria G. Gardner, Isis Olivia Garrison, Georgia Angeline Gilderman, Cassidy William Geraldo, Jeffrey E. Glanville, Jr. Alexander P. Gober. William K. Gomez. 
Quinn Nicole Gonzalez. Jacob Gray. Jillian Marie Grisback. Brayden Thomas Guyry. Logan G. Gumpy. William Joseph Gustafson. Jake Hychovic. Eric M. Hamilton. Jack Hammerley. Riley Grace Hand. Carly Headley. Ty Heller. Jonathan Herrera. Benjamin Matthew Holly. Katrina Lorraine Hubin. Eric Zane Hums. Paige R. Hunsaker. Melanie Giot. Arjun N. Papadia. Abby Ray Kemline. Yvette Kemline. Caitlin E. King. Gabrielle P. Class. Liam Forderson Klein. Wyatt Klimas. Christopher Charles Koba. Christina Marie Kozlowski. <laughs> Ashley Emma Caparis. <laughs> Conchetta Maria Lacatana. <laughs> James Richard Lake. <laughs> Elizabeth Giovanna Leto. <laughs> Brian Charles Lewis, Gina Lynn, Brianna Maya Lobo, Kevin Matthew Lockburner, Tyler Ashton Lombardi. Esmeralda Lucero Torres. Eric Lunger. Andrea Lisbeth Macias Menrique. Sean Philip Marjoram. Sophia M. Margiata. Rebecca Ann Mason. Katrina Lynn McCormick. 
Elizabeth Alicia Mendez. Haley Ann Mikulski. Kaylee Regina Miller. Max Peter Miller. Aiden T. Mitchell. Clive Mohammed. Jenna Marie McAlary. Joelle R. Morales. Rosemary Christian Owens. Madison R. Murphy. Luke Anthony Musetti. Michaela Nelson. Angeliette Marie Kniper. Dane Sebastian Oseha. Lillian A. Oliver. Lindsay A. Oriana. Elizabeth Rose Orlando. Kaya Alana Ortega. Jennifer Pache. Paige B. Patri. Austin Pearson. Madison Marie Pelletier. Grace Elizabeth Pachowski. Kirsten Elizabeth Poikowski. <laughs> Natalie T. Portante. Brianna Lynn Post. Amelia Crosby Race. Sarah Radler. Trevor P. Ranzan. Tessa Eileen Marie Rasmussen. Kaylee L. Recchio. Lauren Marianne Reese. Leah Elizabeth Reinstein. <laughs> Kyla Noel Richards. Ethan G. Richardson. Jonah S. Ripley. Atlas Roberts. Lee N. Rogers. Madison L. Rakosny. Daniel R. Roman. Alize Roman. Jose A. Roman. Caitlin E. Roman. Emily Ross. Ryan C. Runo.
Madison R. Sales. Emily Elizabeth Santana. Anya Satch. Madison Adele Scalzo. <laughs> Chloe Shadeg. I totally know. Why a shay a shied? Sorry. Sophie Shock. Elena Schumann. Maria Lynn Schwab. Mia Luisa Shabika. Devin William Selby. Maxwell Seward. Shane F. Simons. Mason W. Slopbauer. Benjamin Lewis Smith. Julianne Elizabeth Smith. Emily Kate Sorensen. Jacob Strawway. Peyton C. Sugar. Nicholas Maria Shepherd Torres. Samantha Lynn Van Dyke. Luke Van Orden. Ava Marie Veldrin. Sierra A. Vigiano. Julia Volker. Anastasia Bosniak. Ella Rose Ward. Sophia E. Watts. Lee R. Weingartner. Catherine Weiss. Michelle Lee Welch. Joseph Francis Willis. Jana Logan Wingle. Morgan Claire Wink. Ava Lynn Winstock Hohen. Shane D. Wolf. Evan J. Whirl. Carney Elizabeth Weibel. Evan Francis Zaccaro. 
Ryan R. Zeller. Can we get a big round of applause for our class of 2023? Come on now. Soak it up. Soak it up. All right, that's enough. Okay. By virtue of the power invested in me by the Board of Education as principal of High Point Regional High School, I certify that the graduates receiving diplomas here today have successfully completed their graduation requirements as stipulated by the High Point Regional High School and the Georgia State Board of Education. Graduates, please rise. Tassels, right to left. And that, my friends, is what it's all about. Make sure you get your caps and tassels on the way out. Cue the music, please. Cue the music.